When I first heard about Wilder and Fury, it was unbelievable. I didn't think that fight would ever be made. The first thing I said to myself, Wilder will finally have a competition. Well, I was out of boxing for uh, 10 years, so inactivity didn't mean anything to me. When I heard that Tyson Fury had been off for so long, it, that, I knew that wouldn't be a major, make a major uh, impact on the fight. I think that uh, Fury had his struggles, and he talks about them openly, especially mental health. And uh, I think that's a major, a bigger struggle than a boxing match. So he's a champion already. I think Deontay Wilder is a superstar. I think in the people in the United States who's really paying attention to boxing really accept him as a superstar. Now, he's not uh, the Muhammad Ali, the Joe Frazier's, because the, we're, we're so clogged with so many talents. Uh, so now you've got to find him, and if you find him and see him and watch him, you'll appreciate his greatness. Uh, the fight had been pretty much even. It started off with uh, uh, Wilder doing what he needed to do to stay ahead, but then all of a sudden Tyson Fury came on and started to steal the fight. And if it had gone without that knockdown, I think that he would have had a clean decision. Deontay Wilder is a real focused guy. He tries to knock everyone out with a right hand. I was impressed that he never did lose focus. He kept trying and finally he was able to land that right hand and followed by a left hook as well. I've been down in the boxing ring and when you get hit, I mean really hard, you get knocked down, the first thing that comes to your mind is, I got my purse, I have my money, why should I get up? <laughs> if you can beat that battle to get back on your feet, plus you may be hurting as well, you already got a championship in mind. Uh, Tyson Fury got up with all of those voices in his head, he got up and fought back and maybe came close to winning the round. I mean, that was courage. I thought the fight was over. I said, oh, that's the end of it. Saw the referee counting, then the miracle. Fury got up. I think that boxing needed that moment and it'll, it'll stand out as far as great boxing matches, especially in the United States. That fight has got real legs, strong legs, and we'll be talking about it in the years to come. Both fighters felt that they had given their best that night and they both really could concede, hey, I won this boxing match. And I think the decision in the end was the best way to settle it. No one won, no one lost. Now there's a rematch. And I think that Deontay Wilder understand now that his chance of landing the right hand basically ready for him in the latter rounds. He knows that, so he's going to plan. He should plan on stamina. And uh, Tyson Fury, of course, realized, I've taken the best that he has, and I got up. Don't be so worried this time. Come on strong in the first few rounds and win this thing by 12-round decision. Now, when I think about the rematch between Wilder and Fury, it reminds me of the Joe Frazier, Muhammad Ali, and all of the great fighters, uh, Joe Lewis, Max Smelling. These are great fights that people will never forget. And the second, the rematches, is what makes them great. I think it's wonderful. It puts them in the, in the business of being smart now. In my day, all I knew was to punch, 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 punch. When the bell would ring, I never took a step backwards. Now, fighting these guys, I'd have to be a lot smarter I'm just so happy I don't have to fight them.